The GTA port on GBA doesn't have the attention to detail Rockstar is known for. The game is nostalgic, it's amazing that you have GTA on a GBA, but the game itself lacks the experience you would expect from a GTA game. Also I have to mention that this is not a port, this is a standalone game. It has a different story from GTA 1. And it's pretty poorly written, it puts you in the role of a guy named Mike, when the game opens you and another guy named Vinny want to escape with a bunch of money, but the escape goes bad and Vinny is a victim of a car bomb, and I kid you not, this is Mike's expression when Vinny blows up. So Mike sets out to find Vinny's killers and make them all pay. Along the way you'll go on a lot of pretty standard missions, including taking out specific enemies, checkpoint racing, blowing up stuff, stealing cars, but even if it doesn't sound all that bad, the problem is the execution. The game lacks humor, emotion, the text dialogues are pretty soulless most of the time, there are some exceptions though. As a comparison from GTA 1 and 3, you don't get the barf and fart button like in GTA 1, <laughs> Instead you have vigilante missions, if you hop in a cop car, taxi or ambulance, you can do those missions. The game has a hundred hidden packages for you to find, every tenth package adds another item into your hideout. What is the most annoying during gameplay is that the camera is too boxed in. It's so zoomed in that when you go at high speeds with a car, you can barely avoid oncoming traffic. The developers have tried to duplicate the radio function by giving each different car type its own music, but it didn't work out that well. Also mission objectives are pretty unclear. Overall the game is rather a gimmick than a must have. It's nice to have GTA on your GBA, I mean it's still GTA, you can free roam and have fun in this game too, but too bad that the story, the missions, the immersion, the attention to detail is not present in this game like we got used to. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good game, but it has flaws and since we have been spoiled with so many GTA titles that were masterpieces, this one falls short. But in spite being the worst GTA in the series, it still has a lot to offer and is graphically impressive. And it's fun to play if you just cruise around and make some mayhem, but if you want to play the missions of the game, you will quickly see how bad and frustrating the game can be.